my name is Michael Gatewood and I've got Illustrator open. Let's go ahead and go in here to uh, File New and here we go. There we are. Now let's go ahead and go with an 8.5 by 11 artboard and let's click OK. What I'd like to do is show you a little bit of work with Blend Options and the Pen Tool. First thing I'm going to do is take the Pen Tool and let's go in here with no stroke, or excuse me, no fill, and let's go with the stroke, uh, oh, I don't know, purple. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to click, click and drag, and then click. And I'm going to let go of that by simply going to the direct select tool and clicking off of the object. Now what I want to do is click on the object, hold down the Alt Option key, click and drag, and move straight down the same object. But let's give this a little twist and maybe just a hair longer. Now let's grab this object and change the stroke from purple to orange. There we go. Now we have two Bezier curves using the pen tool purple and orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab both of these and I'm going to go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and with specified steps, I'm going to put in 25 and click OK. Nothing happens, so we're going to go to Object, Blend, and Make. And there's our step and repeat going from purple to orange. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can take a look at this. And you can see how our graphic is set and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the hand tool to get to full workspace and select this graphic making it a little bit larger than the page and bringing it down well let's see if we can grab this bringing it down to the bottom of the page showing that this can be an art element that goes off of your page. It can be expanded or enlarged or brought down and create a little color bar. If you want to, you can simply go to the corner, flip, and bring this graphic up. And again, on a page such as work done in InDesign or one of your other graphics programs. Now all of a sudden we've got a color bar that just simply comes in, goes all the way down and bleeds off of the page. Let's make this just a little bit longer and all of a sudden you've got a quick art element with two simple graphics and a couple of clicks. These are the options that when using the blend mode you can come up with all kinds of things taking a circle to a square or simply blending two different colored lines together. Pretty cool little effect. This is Michael Gatewood. I'm working in Illustrator CS6, and thanks for watching.